Hi, Ray Hayden here, and in this video, we're gonna give you a sort of kind of end result look of what the kitchen cabinet uh, project in my office should look like. Now, I have to admit, I'm a pretty hypercritical person of my own work. I love it. I absolutely love the way this has come out so far, and on top of that, it saved us many hundreds, if not tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, my wife and I do have experience in remodeling a kit or having a professionally remodeled kitchen done by replacing all cabinet doors, replacing countertops with the new modern ones and things of that nature. So we know from which we speak on money that we've expended and I'll make another video about that when I talk more about the seriousness of property ownership kind of issues. Um, but with that, we are extremely happy with this, but there's a couple of things that I need to do. There's this routered design in the door frame uh, in the door front. I need to finalize those. I may make a video about how I do that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes, uh, how time is. There is this little piece, this spacer on the front here and the side of this cabinet. These need to be finalized uh, as well with the semi-gloss paint. Uh, let's come back over here to this side. This is the, the Formica countertop again. The Formica, this Formica is on this wall. All right, so I, don't really, I didn't really point that out before. But this wall is actually the same exact Formica that you're looking at right here. Uh, and again, with all this stuff here, this same color, it didn't look nearly as open and airy in this room as it did. I need to do some finalized work uh, along the corners there. So I'll tape this all up, get it ready to go, finish that up uh, after I do another project. And let me go to, I'm gonna have to tilt the camera on this one. All right, this particular door right here is a mess. This is the one I made that mistake on right down here. I don't think that you can see that on the camera. I don't think that it's going to show up. I'll see it when I see it on a bigger screen. The five and a half inch screen is nice, but a 32 inch screen is a little bit better. So I'll see if I can even see that mistake. It's right down here along the bottom. And I don't like the way the whole door feels. Uh, I love the, the uh, texture that's on these other doors. It's absolutely fantastic. And after I uh, get this fixed, I, I'm, I'm going to make an, a standalone video on how I fix this. All right. So we'll do that later um, on this cabinet over here. On the side of the cabinet, it is also the Formica uh, of the countertop. Let me tilt that down so you can see the countertop. It's the same Formica is on the side of this box as well. So this is also painted white, um, just like this other cabinet here, all right, which also had the Formica on it. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up, I think, for this one here. Um, you get a general idea of what the, what the uh, cabinets look like uh, when they're done. They will be slightly whiter, slightly brighter, but you really won't be able to tell on a video. Um, just the final touch up things and things like that, uh, uh, things of that nature. Uh, but in the long run, I don't think I spent a hundred bucks. It's my time and energy and stuff like that. And labor is very expensive, but you know, I had the time, you know I mean? I got the time, make the time, do whatever I do, whenever I, whenever, do what I can, the best that I can, whenever I have the opportunity to do it get the job done and uh, put forth the effort, the quality effort to get the job done right the first time, except for that one door. And um, but you see the result. All right, the entire room was pretty much this color right here. But now look at this room. It's nice, it's bright, it's light, it's airy. Um, I think on a level of difficulty, this is probably level one. All you have to do is take your time, relax, go easy, go slow. If you make a mistake, fix it right away. What are the rules of painting? Don't make a mistake. If you make a mistake, fix it. If you can't fix it, uh, it was like that when you got here. And if that doesn't fly, blame it on the wall guy. All right. It's humor. If you're a wall guy, don't be blaming me. That's what we always said painting. Anyway, so with that, you get an idea. The thing looks nice and bright and airy and open. Um, there's a couple of things I want you to think about, and I'm going to add to this video thing. This is indeed a dish rack. Okay. We do manually wash our dishes. We do not use a dishwasher. In fact, this set of drawers right here is where the dishwasher would go. We also do not have one of those little food grinder things, a disposal. We do not have a disposal in any of our properties. Um, I am going to talk about that in home ownership. And I got to mention another thing. You see the kitchen over there. Uh, you should be able to see the refrigerator. Uh, right there has a, uh, a water dispenser thing and an ice dispenser thing. There is no water connected to the refrigerator either. I will make a standalone video on that uh, specific issue of water being anywhere than the sink faucet. All right. Uh, it's a very important video. Uh, I think it's a very important issue 
and I will make a standalone video on that. So with that, until I catch you in the next video, all right, take care and be well.